it do? It's your boy Showbo, aka Showbeezy, and welcome back to the Plugged In Podcast. Um, today we getting into more uh, updates about the camper and the Airbnb property, what have you. Um, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time a new episode drops. This video today is basically going to show the process of the concrete, getting the concrete slab laid down. Um, this was actually a two-day process for day one, the first day. That's when they actually did the leveling and everything because getting the trees knocked down, it was a ton of mulch from basically you had um, from where the trees were knocked down you also had from when they actually cut the trees into uh, into logs so you had a bunch of sawdust or whatever um, and then also from getting the stumps grinded you had a ton of what looked like mulch you know what I'm saying from the stumps getting grinded so it's all this stuff in that same vicinity of where the concrete slab goes so they were able to use that to kind of level everything off um, and the the little the 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 plot of land that I have where I'm putting the concrete slab at was pretty pretty level already um it wasn't like it wasn't a hill or anything like that it wasn't anything dramatic like a huge incline or anything like that so it wasn't a lot that needed to be done but it had to be done so the process was the process was kind of cool to me um so I want to share with you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the video up right now and check it out all right, so this is what the terrain is looking like. This is what the land looks like freshly after getting the trees done. It's kind of rough, you know what I'm saying? But you see how it, it needs to be leveled out, cleaned up, what have you, so we can go ahead and get the slab done. So that is going to get done by this beast right here, the Bobcat. This is like the jack of all trades. Um, but right here, you can kind of see the process that I was explaining to you where they're gonna they're leveling out the land using the Bobcat. Um, using all that mulch and dirt and sawdust and what have you, you know what I'm saying, and kind of just clearing out the land, cleaning it up, you know what I'm saying, getting everything flat and level. Um, and as you can see, that's done now, and now they're able to get the form, start getting the forms up for the actual concrete slab. So this is um, limestone, actually, not gravel. Limestone is what they use for the bed. Um, for the concrete slab because the limestone, it, uh, those stones are bigger than gravel. So they give you better leveling properties and uh, better drainage. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they use limestone instead of gravel for that. So here you can see they got a uh, load of the limestone in there and about to use the bobcat to actually spread that out and start getting the uh, the bed together. Let's check that out. Let's see what that looks like. I'm trying to tell you, that Bobcat does everything, man. So, and this is just a shot showing you guys the, uh, bringing in those loads of the, uh, of the limestone, just kind of the process for that. And, uh, obviously you have that trailer with a hydraulic, uh, hydraulic trailer, because when you're dealing with that kind of weight, that kind of tonnage, please believe you are not going to try to manually lift that. getting everything spread out man getting this getting this taken care of I would I was shocked at how easy it was with that Bobcat I mean it simplifies the whole process you know they they were able to get this done in a I want to say a, a, a couple hours it didn't really, it didn't really take that long but um Day one is completed, man. This is this is kind of like, 
I don't want to say finished, but this is how day one ended. Got the farms up, got the limestone laid, the lands leveled, all that completed. So uh, the next step is tomorrow doing the pouring the actual concrete, man. Day two. I'll see you there.